Good morning, Coastal Bay, and here's a look outside on our Lex camera this morning. Now that the sun's starting to come up, well, we're still cloudy, but what we are looking at are those humid conditions out there. There is a chance you may spot a tropical funnel. That just has to do with some really strong winds up where the clouds out are and lighter winds at the surface. In fact, winds are only 8 miles per hour right now. We are going to see a chance for a spotty rain shower through the morning, then breaking clouds in the afternoon high temperature today 84 degrees rainfall coverage very low today very light very isolated as we look ahead to tomorrow morning this is when our thunderstorm chances are going up so that's going to be tomorrow by about 6 a.m. and that will continue through lunchtime with a low chance maybe for a little secondary round in the afternoon but I'm not confident in that what I am confident in is there is going to be a cold front that moves through tonight and early Thursday morning. So again, spotty showers can't be ruled out during the day today. There's that front where the heaviest rain is expected to be is going to be just to our north. That's where the stronger storms are going to go through potentially Live Oak, Bee County and toward Refugio County and Victoria. That's going to be kind of the target for more rainfall and stronger storms. Can't rule out an isolated pocket seeing some higher rainfall totals, but most likely will be a quarter of an inch or less tomorrow and that is going to be a risk of severe weather a marginal risk at that that's level one for tomorrow morning really about 4 to 8 a.m. looks to be the target time for that severe weather that's an isolated severe risk uh, which means one or two storms may have some of those stronger wind gusts up to 60 miles per hour or some pockets of hail as we zoom out by Friday, we see another risk of severe weather. Now that is a slight risk for areas of our watershed and off into kind of the western half of South Texas. That could be Friday evening with a pop up storm along a dry line. Then Saturday morning is when those storms move through on our second cold front. So cold front number one is going to lead to some really stormy weather across East Texas as we head into the midnight hours tonight. So that front slides south. This is again that target zone, right? We're going to get a storm likely that develops, rides the front through Victoria and may miss the bulk of, of South Texas. However, again, B County, Live Oak County, Referro County, Aransas County definitely be paying attention tomorrow morning. We've got a second round on the way as well. So I mentioned the dry line. We'll have to watch for storms developing there Friday evening for areas off west. Some of those storms may make it into the coastal bend, but they'll likely be weakening as they get away from that boundary. Saturday morning, so this is pretty much a repeat of what we're going to see tomorrow. That front slides through, increasing our rain chances, increasing our storm chances. And as you can see, we actually are expecting some northwest winds behind that front heading into Saturday. High pressure then slides in for Sunday, bringing some nice conditions back to the area uh, for your Sunday. So sunny conditions Sunday, low humidity Sunday. Uh, it's just going to be nice. There's no other way to describe it. And then temperatures warming again into next week as we are still in a drier pattern. But again, Thursday morning and Saturday morning are the times you need to be paying attention and being prepared for some of that, the rain and thunderstorms. John Thomas Barton.